assalamu alaikum everyone hope you are all doing fine today we will discuss about 4 bit alu alu basically stands for arithmetic logic unit alu is basically a combinational digital circuit that performs certain arithmetic operations on integer binary numbers as you can see here i have placed several components in this schematic diagram that are a keypad and ic mm7 4c922 and this ic is used for the working of this keypad and 4008 ic this uh, ic is used for 4 bit binary addition and subtraction three led 7 segment displays are used the top one with the blue color you can see here shows us the input of this keypad uh, and bottom two are uh, for the outputs of addition subtraction and the multiplication and for the multiplication this is for multiplication we used the ic7472785 there is and uh, there is no such ic for four bit divider so we will leave the division part here so first we shall discuss about the keypad that how this keypad works uh, in this situation as we can see uh, the first digit here is 7 then 8 9 and divide and so on but actually they they are not 7 8 9 9 and divide they start as 0 1 2 3 and 4 let's try here we can see 7 gives us the input of 0 here 8 gives us the input of 1 here 9 gives us the input of 2 here divide means 3 4 means 4 5 means 5 6 means 6 multiply means 7 1 means 8 2 means 9 3 means 10 a is for 10 uh, minus means 11 or b on or off is for c 12 13 uh, as 0 b 14 as e for is equal to and plus finally for f that is 15 so keypad basically gives us the input of a as we can say here c here it gives us the input of a and we can see here that these a1 a2 and a3 and a4 are attached to the output of this ic which is attached as the input of this keypad so keypad basically gives us the input of a and these logic toggles gives us the input of b further these xor gates as we can see them these are attached uh, to b inputs basically these xor gates are used for subtraction and addition purposes so let's start our simulation that how we can perform a four bit arithmetic logic unit operations on these ic's uh, from the help of our inputs so here we can see that b inputs basically and xor gates with two pins are attached so the uh, we can see that these are b1 b2 b3 and b4 and this one is an enable it is just an enable so the all of the second pins of all the xor gates are attached to this enable and if we see that if this enable is zero it will perform addition that is if we give 2 here and for example 5 here so we can see 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 5 this 5 or we can say uh, let's try 6 plus 2 or 6 plus uh, 6 i we should say it gives us c that is 12 So six two plus four six and this six gives us twelve. Now we shall see that what uh, should two and six gives us. 
it's obvious that it will give us the answer of 8 but let's try since we are uh, performing simulation 2 plus 6 gives us the output of 8 now let's just forget about this one this is for multiplication and now we shall see that if we give the output here of 10 and 10 plus 6 basically gives us 16 so in we can see that uh, in the hexadecimal uh, in hexadecimal number system we have only 16 numbers that are from 0 to f or 0 to 15 and from further for example 16 is then considered as 0 17 as 1 and 18 as 2 and so on now we can see here 6 and 10 gives us the output of 16 so as uh, 60 uh, uh, as there are only 16 numbers from 0 to 15 in hexadecimal number system so further it will continue as 0 now we shall perform subtraction for subtraction we have to give this enable input of 1 now we can see here 10 this a 10 10 minus 6 gives us the output of 4 now if we try 8 now 8 and a, uh, 6 and 14 so it doesn't gives any sense as you can see 14 minus 10 it gives us uh, but since it is not possible it gives the, us the value in minus so that's why it is not giving us the true answer so if we give the value of e here e e is basically 14 and 14 plus 14 uh, 14 minus 14 gives us the output of 0 14 minus 14 gives us output of 0 now we shall uh, as we, uh, if we can see we shall perform another thing and if we see that if we give uh, this input as 1 here and this as 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 or we can see 2 minus 1 is 1 so now let's uh, begin with our multiplication part so for multiplication part we have to again give this enable a 0 uh, input value so we shall give this input a 3 as you can see here and we shall give this input at a as uh, let's see 3 so we, here we can see that 3 into 3 ignore this part will be giving us the output of 9 now we shall see if we give 3 plus 4 7 that is 21 so as I told you earlier that on the 16 numbers are present in hexadecimal system and it continues as 0 from further 15 so 16 will be 0 17 will be 1 18 will be 2 19 will be 3 20 will be 4 and 21 will be 5 so uh, 3 plus 4 7 7 into 3 gives us the output of 21 that is 5 now let's see another input that is 6 multiply by 7 gives us a now let's see how this things works uh, this thing works uh, if we see that uh, 6 sevens are 42 so further from 15 if we add uh, another 16 that will be 31 and if we try uh, and then we can count from our hand also that is uh, 31 will be f of course and then further 32 will be 0 33 will be 1 34 will be 2 35 will be 3 36 will be 4 37 will be 5 38 39 40 41 and 42 will give us a so uh, that's it for today i hope you got information from this as you were seeking through so that's it that's all from my side allah